Good day everyone. This is Rika Angeli Pita Kolai and today let's talk about inductive and deductive reasoning. What is inductive reasoning? Inductive reasoning is a kind of reasoning with particular examples from which conclusions is drawn. Conclusions are based on observations of a pattern. For example, by observing that negative 1 to the power of 3 is equal to negative 1, negative 1 to the power of 5 is equal to negative 1, and negative 1 to the power of 7 is equal to negative 1, Annette concluded that any odd power of negative 1 is equal to negative 1. The argument uses inductive reasoning since the conclusion is based on observation of a pattern. Another example of inductive reasoning is Every time Richard shoots the ball at the left side of the basketball ring, he misses. He then concludes that if he shoots at the right side of the ring, he'll make a good shot. This argument uses inductive reasoning since the conclusion made by Richard in the argument is constructed based on his observation. What is deductive reasoning? Deductive reasoning is a kind of reasoning that draws conclusion from statements that are accepted as true, followed by a specific statement and draws a conclusion. Conclusions are based in accepted statements such as definition, postulates, theorems, and properties. For example, all acute triangles have three acute angles. Triangle PGO is an acute triangle. Therefore, triangle PGO has three acute angles. This argument uses deductive reasoning since the conclusion is based on a definition which is accepted as true. Another example of deductive reasoning is Collinear points are points that lie on the same line. Points E, D, and Z lie on a line. Therefore, E, D, and Z are collinear points. The conclusion in this argument is based on a definition which is accepted as true. This is an example where deductive reasoning is used. Thank you for listening and that in all things, God may be glorified.